studio, guys. Um, so, as uh, we put up on Thursday, we had two pictures to choose from, and we will insert them here. Uh, and you guys made it difficult, and it was pretty much went right down the middle, 50-50. So we will do both, despite Mary Beth saying no, we would not. Remember when I said never say never? <laughs> So the first thing we do is the night before uh, we've got everything planned out, what we're going to dye the next day, and we um, what we call tying off the yarn. And what we do is we add a, a shower ring to the hank of yarn, and what it does is it just makes it so much easier to pick them up out of the water and find where we're beginning rather than trying to search through, as you will see, water to pick up one of these. So that's the first thing we do. And then if... Uh, the yarn is going to start with uh, a base of color. We soak it in that color first with citric acid, and we usually use about three to four tablespoons of citric acid per bowl. So, for the spooky hallway, we are starting with a very, very, very pale blue bath. We just wanted to just get like a wash of blue, just so you kind of think blue is there first. So I take my four, we do four per bowl, and we just put it in. We're not really worried if the yarn gets totally saturated with this blue color because there is going to be a lot more color on right. top of it. This is just to start it off. If we had wanted to make sure that the whole thing would go the color, we would have soaked it in citric acid, just plain citric acid water first and then put it in its color, but right now we just put it in dry because we like a wash more than a saturation. Also, if we wanted it to have more color, we would make the color darker. Right, so this one I wanted, when I was thinking about it, I wanted you to look at it and think, is it blue or is it just white? And you right, can I'm kind gonna of... do it against the wall. All right, so there, you need to move your glove away because okay. it's not showing. There is a very, very pale blue to it. And it still has a little bit more color to pick up, but this is pretty much what it's going to look like as the base. But this, the end yarn is not going to look anything like this. There, see, you can see just a little bit of blue in there. So then I just make sure each skein gets the water and the citric acid through it and the color. And then it'll just sit here and wait for its turn to heat up and the crows seem to have something to say about the all thing. the while soaking up every bit of color that's in that bowl right okay so and then for the the moon in the tree we wanted to have a peach wash over it this is a, a little, little bit darker yeah than the blue we want it to actually be peach so i'm taking my four And you can see already that it's, it's much darker than, but still light. But you can tell there's color there. Again, not worried if it doesn't take color on every single bit of every strand, because there's going to be more color going on top. So as you can see, the shower rings are life-saving and the hanks are tied in the three places that you usually get them so I'm kind of manhandling them to find the shower ring they straighten out to begin with I, when we first started dying and we pulled the hank out of the, the bag it was like oh my god we're never gonna untangle it it's amazing how quickly you learn right so all right here we go so now we have spooky hallway very, very pale blue. And the moon in the tree, starting with peach. And we're going to continue along and show you what happens when we add more color to it after it sips and soaks for a bit. Okay, so it's, uh, they've all been sitting for about 45 minutes now, so it's time to put them in the pans that they get cooked in, which are just regular catering pans that we buy from the restaurant store. So, take them out. in the pan try and evenly distribute the yarn all the way through since it doesn't completely lie flat so that when we're putting colors on 
the color, uh, the yarn is evenly distributed. And you can see that the, the water is now pretty much clear, which is not that great a feat because we didn't have that much color in this particular one. So now they're all lying in their pan and I take their water, even if it had color in it, I still take it, pour it over, and then it will go to cook. It's gonna actually go sit and wait in line to be cooked right now. So there we go. So now this is the peach for the, the moon in the tree. Same thing. And since this one had a little more color in it, there's still a little color left in the water, which it will soak up when it's heating. Going to be the base of the moon and the tree. Okay, add your color, add your water. Okay. And now that goes to sit in line to wait to get color. Okay, we're about to start adding colors. This is the spooky hall hallway, and these are the colors that we've chosen to put on. So right. And it's uh, it's been cooking for about ten minutes, so it's just about to a simmer. Uh, just below a simmer, and now we add the color. Okay, so here we go. Put our colors in Coke bottles. Easy pour. Okay, so we've got a blue. Good. Yep. We like the way the blue kind of seeps down a little bit. Okay, here comes the darker blue. Wait. You might notice a theme. Okay, here comes an even darker blue. So it looks kind of the same. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to hit the phone like that. Uh, it looks kind of the same, but when it comes out of the water, you're gonna see a distinct difference. And then we're winding up with our gray, one of our grays. Good or do we want it darker? No, I think that's good. I like that. What do you think? Okay. Would you change anything? I think we're good. Okay. As you can tell, we come up with the idea and then it sometimes changes as we're doing it because um, we don't like the way it looks in the pot or we want to add a little bit more of this color or a little bit less of that color. But I think that looks good. Do you think add more here as it starts to settle or leave No, it? I, I like that. I like that. Okay. Because I like how it's going from like a blue to a darker blue to almost a purpley blue. And well, then the gray. It's going to be, see there's a lot. That's okay. But do you want to add more? Go ahead and add more. I don't think I need more. Okay. And press it down maybe. Water's hot. Do you want your bottle? <laughs> She's got a bottle that she uses to press down the yarn in the hot water. So she just, so she doesn't have to put it's, her it's foot. Not my, it's not my liquor bottle. Foot. It's, <laughs> so she doesn't have to put her foot into the, <laughs> she doesn't have to put her hand into the boiling water. It's like making grapes here. <laughs> the okay. Ooh, are we good or do you want more? Um, add some more gray. And then just press it down. Yeah. Hot. Okay. All right, good. And we will see what it looks like. It's gonna to look totally different once we twist it. Yeah. Because um, as you can see, the color stays to the top, which is why we wanted to put a base on it um, so that it's even the lighter blue. Uh, all the way through. All the way through. All right, so stay tuned. Okay, here we go. So, moon in the tree. Okay. I like that color. Yeah. So nice. It was like a quarter instead of a, a half. Oh, we said. Okay. This is gonna be gorgeous. Okay. 
color is that? Is that the move? That's the move. Oh my god. Love that color. Again. That's a good, oh. good color. Yeah. I like that purple very much. This is a color that every time we use it. We put it on, I'm like, oh my God, I put the wrong color on. Because it comes out across looking very, very dark. It's a deep, deep purple. As you can see, it starts to come out with the heat. But to begin with, it's like, oh my God, what do we do? I didn't want that to travel quite so much. One more peach up here, you think? Okay. Oh my God, that is just stunning. I like that a lot. Yeah. Okay, so then we're gonna speckle it. And rather than speckling it with black, because black has a tendency to travel, we're speckling it with one of our browns, which is not going to travel as much, but it's gonna give the illusion of black speckles. A little bit more up here. I have to say, this is showing up much brighter in the phone. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Okay. Okay, we don't stop. Okay. Okay, so now uh, what happens is um, it cooks for another five minutes at a high heat, then it cools, we wash it, dry it, and tomorrow when we show you this video afterwards, we're going to show you the final product. Can't wait to show you. Okay.